As we all know in this room, uh, our current food system does not deliver, neither for people nor for the planet. One quarter of the world's population is malnourished, one quarter of the world's population is overweight. Both our environment and our climate suffer from the way we eat. It was, if this was any other political issue, citizens would demand political action immediately. Politicians would implement regulations, for instance, uh, tax uh, in, in intervention and so on, for instant change. However, food is not like any other political issue. Policies on what people eat are maybe somewhat less about regulation and more about understanding people's lives, values, cultural uh, preferences and traditions. Less about bans and taxation and more about bringing the right people around the table and coordinating and co-creating a mutually benefit future. Today, I will tell you that change is possible and that policy and politicians have an important role to play. I'm a strong believer in public health interventions based on knowledge. Let me give you an example. One of my top priorities during my two terms as Minister of Health of Norway was preventing non-communicable diseases through improving diets. A crucial political tool for improving the diets of Norwegian citizens is the Nordic Nutrition Recommendations, a common set of uh, knowledge-based recommendations that form the basis for other policies, such as nutritional guidelines and uh, front-of-pack labeling. Most importantly, these recommendations establish an undisputed evidence base that everyone from NGOs to food producers respect and uses in their daily work. This creates a common space for government, civil society and the food industry where we can often disagree on goals, methods and ambitions, but not on the facts. This is one of the secret ingredients in uh, what I am uh, uh, there to call a successful Nordic approach to food policy. We establish common ground where we can all meet. We build trust, we co-create solutions, and this approach may take some time, it's not easy, but we have seen it work in the Nordic region. Because every party at the table respects one another, and because the parties seated around the table can go from being uh, adversaries to being partners working towards a common goal, improved diets. Since my time as Norwegian Minister of Health, uh, the conversation around food policy globally has changed. The environmental impact of our food consumption is now such an obvious challenge to all of us. An elephant in the room that can no longer be ignored. This makes it clearer than ever that a more holistic, integrated approach is needed. So how do we go from words to action and not end up mixing up the world level with the word level? That's quite easy, as you know. Well, I think knowledge-based public health intervention is something uh, to, uh, to uh, build on. The Nordic countries do not have all the answers, but we do have policy solutions related to nutrition, food, culture, public meals, food waste, and sustainable diets that can all be a part of the solution. Today, for the first time, the most innovative food policy solutions in the Nordic regions have been assembled in this document. This is the short version. It's also a deep dive version of it that you can access. Our new solutions menu includes 24 policies on ways to change food consumption. We share this information with the world in the hope that we can start a constructive dialogue. And I encourage you to meet with our team of the Nordic Council of Ministers here at EAT to learn more. I know that the Nordic region has something to offer, but I'm equally aware that the Nordic region has a long way to go. So we also need to develop and refine our own food policies. So to all of you, please join the conversation. Let's learn from each other. Let's activate policy in changing food consumption and fix the food system. Moving from all the good words that have been said here 
to some of these practical solutions that have been tested and uh, is working. And let us uh, develop from there further, even better solutions together. Thank you very much. One of the secret ingredients for developing successful food policy solutions is bringing people with different perspectives around the same table. In spring 2017, the five Nordic Prime Ministers launched the Nordic Solutions to Global Challenges initiative. And the message was loud and clear. The Nordic countries stand firm on their commitment to future generations, sharing knowledge and experience with the world. So let's set the table and tackle unsustainable food consumption together.